Rivet City is back in NBA 2K25, and I played the very first games in this remastered park already. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing a tour of the park, and we're gonna be showing multiple gameplays of me using the My Team cards in the Rivet City park, competing against other content creators. So make sure to drop a like for more early 2K25 content, and subscribe to the channel to see more of my videos on your recommended. And without further ado, let's get into the video. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Henry, aka Double H, back at it with yet another 2K25 video make sure to hit that sub button but as you can see we are in rivet city and the first thing i wanted to do was do a complete tour of the new rivet city park so you enter in kind of like this wreck kind of like building and then you walk out and this is what you see so literally rivet city and if you walk over to the left annie up is in the game so you can actually go to annie up from the rivet city park yes stage is confirmed in 2k25 for whatever reason a bunch of people were just saying with no evidence that 2k25 was gonna have a stage like it started as a troll then people started taking it serious no that's all false there was no evidence towards that people were just making stuff up stage and annie up is in 2k25 okay there's also like a store over here that you can access to dress your my player up but you know when i went to the store there was nothing in there yet you could also buy packs through that store as well but yeah there was nothing in there because obviously this was like a demo version of the game and they don't have that stuff you know ready yet i guess so yeah i mean it looks just like the old rivet city obviously the courts are a little bit different i didn't see a helicopter but you know you could see the see-through glass um you know court or not courts but uh ground with the blue courts and the high rise you know park obviously with the buildings around it and then of course you know the ante up to leave out of the building just like they had in the old 2k16 high rise park so yeah it, it looks pretty accurate as a you know remastered 2k16 high rise park now eventually you're gonna see us get into a couple different games i played two games in this 3v3 rivet city park now you got to remember this mode or this park is in my team so you use my team cards even though i'm walking around with a my player now this was the first time i'd ever touched 2k25 i had i hadn't played any play now i hadn't touched my settings i hadn't touched anything yet so the gameplay is going to be a little rough so if you want to watch gameplay when i'm actually used to the game or learning the game a little more i would go watch my full breakdown video but anyways yeah this is the first time of me touching 2k25 period i literally just opened one pack got these cards so i was using Giannis, anthony edwards and michael jordan and you can see your my team cards literally turn in some of their players as soon as you get on the court so your my player walks on the court then it shows the my team cards you have this is my opponent's my team cards kareem ant and kd and then they the players spawn right so in this gameplay specifically right here i'm playing it solo another thing that sucked about this is our settings were randomized so i didn't know if i was on push release jump I didn't know what I was on going into this. I also didn't know what profile setting I was on. So I didn't know if I was going to make whites or if my green window was going to be small or big. I didn't know if I was in a high profile setting, low profile setting. I didn't know anything. Not only that, my meter was on. And obviously, I don't want my meter to be on. Okay. So that's why you're going to see us missing a lot of jump shots because we do not know what settings we're on. And we were trying to figure out what settings we were on while playing the game okay so as you can see i'm the blue team going against the white team first basket of 2k25 with Giannis. i was kind of abusing Giannis, and this was a big problem right there you see solo just ran out of bounds right there that is my biggest issue with 2k25 for whatever reason the out of bounds lines specifically on the baseline are super like easy to run about it's it, like you don't even there were kid there doesn't even have to be someone near you there isn't you don't even have to step on the out of bounds line if the ball like reaches that invisible wall you're just out of bounds so it's kind of stupid but look at these dunk meters i'm getting with Giannis. right there we get a little euro step get ant out the way and just get an easy wide open dunk um i had also got a good uh dunk meter a couple possessions ago i was literally greeting dunks out the gate and the problem with the dunk meter that I wasn't really used to at first is that you can't really see the green window so you're kind of just releasing the dunk meter when the meter disappears that's how the meter works this year but no matter what you can't see how big your green window actually was regardless so you don't really get as much information with that and then dude this dude man solo was playing as a post score man this dude like cream he was post hooking he was post drop stepping he was post fadeaway dude turned, turned into a whole post score because he pulled cream from his packs 
But anyways, going on the fast break with Giannis with the dunk meter. Solos back to the post fades. Um, yeah, I had jo or Jordan and Giannis. He had Ant as well. You see, we're going back to Giannis. Giannis was going crazy, and you're going to see eventually in this game, I actually end up getting takeover with him. And since you can't collect, a, or I guess I didn't select a custom takeover with him, it just puts you as hot. So I don't think there was a specific takeover he necessarily had. But you see, I leave Solo wide open with KD. He misses because he has no clue what settings he's on. I have no clue what settings I'm on. So I'm about to shoot with Ant Edwards. No clue what I'm on. I time it super late and I greened it. So at the time, I didn't know. But after reviewing the gameplay and playing two games, the settings it had me on was definitely release. It definitely had me on release. And I feel like I was on the highest or maybe the second highest profile setting because I did make one white. But I wasn't making like whites like that. That makes sense. So right here, I shoot a shot, a three-pointer with Giannis just to test out the low three-point rating. I end up shooting more threes with Giannis later in this video just to test low three-pointers um, and see if I could hit with it. Because, you know, Gian not, Giannis is really not supposed to be hitting like that. You know, this is like his base card. So it's not like it's like a 99 card where he has like a 99 three or anything. It's just his base stats. So 13 to 10 right here. We got Giannis in the corner. I don't end up shooting it. I kick it out to MJ. And this is like the, once again, this is the first time I touched 2K25. So all the inputs for the dribbling felt super weird and very different. The game just felt different because it felt like I was a noob, bro. Like the first time me touching this game, just like when you first touch any 2K, it just felt super weird. Fast break with Michael Jordan. We get the dunk and you can see Giannis ends up getting this hot ring around him, signifying that he is in takeover. So I have takeover with Giannis. Honestly, in my gameplay breakdown, you saw that I never got takeover because takeover is just hard to get. And plus, I wasn't like playing a full game. I didn't really see anyone at Community Day get takeover. Uh, I'm sure some other people got takeover in Rivet City besides me. But I didn't really see this happen often. So I had takeover and then I run out of bounds because that, once again, that baseline invisible wall is super glitchy. They have to fix that before the game comes out because you literally just get thrown out of bounds basically every time. It's not... Like, it's different for a reason. So, you see, I throw it to Giannis with takeover. He catches it, and the takeover disappears. Then I green the three, and then it comes back. I don't know if it actually disappeared or if when I catch it, I just don't have it anymore. Here's an instant replay, but I I think it just went away because I had the ball with Giannis earlier with takeover, and it showed the hot ring. So, yeah, I lost takeover when I caught the ball. I, I don't know why. <laughs> I couldn't explain to you why that was the case. Uh, but yeah, that's what happened. Still, I take over with Giannis. End up going to the basket, get blocked, and Ant just doesn't catch the ball and lets it go out of bounds. It literally would have been our ball if he didn't touch it. So that was kind of a weird animation. And at this point, I'm up 20 to 16. I hit Ant for three, and this was the first and only white I made in the Rivet City gameplay. But you're going to see my opponent ends up making some whites. But I don't know what profile setting I was on. I'm going to guess the second highest one. Because I don't think you can even make a white on the highest profile setting. So I'm just going to guess that. But yeah, here's the screen of what happens after you finish a game. So I got 288 MT. You do get season level for this. So yeah, the season levels kind of look the same as they did in 2K24. Then you get rep level. So I guess you start as out and then you're working your way up to bronze. So yeah, but anyways, going into gameplay number two. This gameplay was against uh, Gamer Kesey. So this is my second in last rivet city game i only played two games of this because i didn't want to waste too much time in this mode i wanted to spend more time in the builder and actually getting into the play now gameplay and the learn to get gameplay to kind of learn the game because i wasn't really you know i was just messing around in here just to get some kind of footage for y'all yeah anyways my opponent had julius irving uh and a couple other players you see i still, i'm still running the same lineup i honestly i wish i had kevin durant at the time i didn't know what players were like good in 2k25 you know obviously you know Giannis. Michael Jordan and our good NBA players, but bro, Kevin Durant was so good in 2K25. If you watch my gameplay breakdown video, anyways, first bucket, we may get it with Giannis. I don't know how I didn't get that lane steal right there with Ant. And look at, he's going out of bounds. You're going to see we actually go out of bounds on the baseline way more in game number two. You're probably sitting here watching this gameplay, and be like, no, you guys are just running out of bounds. You guys are just forcing it baseline. No, bro. Trust me, there's like this crazy invisible wall that's there that like even if the ball crosses that line and you're not out of bounds it just calls you out of bounds like it's 
it needs to be fixed it's not like it's it's a bug it definitely needs to be fixed it was happening to everybody that was playing this mode anyways get a little layup with amp we're up four to three right here he's trying to iso with dr j right here uh he goes baseline gets an easy dunk doesn't go out of bounds that time takes the lead five to four i got mj here honestly out of the three players i was using and once again i go out of bounds again uh out of the three players i was using right here uh Giannis was probably my favorite i liked the way he was moving and i liked you know i like using the dunk meters so Giannis is fun to use he gets this good floater animation with Luca right there. That was kind of fire. You see, I'm on the ISO with Giannis. I'm trying to force, I'm really trying to just force a dunk meter, to be honest with you, because I didn't know what shooting settings I was on. So I wasn't really confident in shooting the ball. Right here, we get a wide open dunk with Michael Jordan. And now we're only down one. And you see, he's got Luca. He's got KD. He's got Dr. J. Both gameplays I played against KD. And the opponent really wasn't using them, him correctly at all. Like, I wish I had KD for these gameplays. Because, bro, he was insane. Like, please go watch my gameplay breakdown video if you haven't already. Because he, bro, he's my favorite player in 2K25, bro. I can't say it enough. Luka gets another good contact layup animation and ends up making it. Then I get the ball back. I'm down 9-6 to six right here. And I force a last-second layup with Giannis. And this is what I was talking about in my gameplay breakdown video. How the interior defense is just not consistent. Like, I shouldn't have made that. Like, that was just a last-second throw-it-up prayer. And I made it. Like, that just shouldn't be going in. Anyways, he misses a white with Dr. J in the corner for three. And now we have a, a chance to take a lead right here. And I step out of bounds once again. You see that my defender was behind me. And I still got the out of bounds right there. This was happening to everybody at Community Day. A bunch of people were complaining about it. The invisibility wall on the baseline is it, just, it's bad. Bro. It's really bad. I hope it's not in the final game. And if it is, I will be avoiding the baseline as much as I can. Anyways, we're down 13 to 8 at this point. I'm down 5 points. This could be my first loss in 2K25. Look at Giannis. Hall of Fame physical finisher. By the way, that badge is insane if you have it at a high rating. You saw what it just did right there. Um, he misses another 3 with Julius Irving. We're down 13 to 10. We got Giannis on the ISO. We got to get a bucket. I'm going in. Pump fake. He jumps. I lay it up. Now it's just a one-point game. We're trying to get a stop. I was clamping him a lot right here. You see, there's only seven seconds on the shot clock. We're playing good defense. By the way, the defense did feel good in 2K25. But right there, my player doesn't really put his hands up. But we get the stop. 13 to 12. We were just down 13 to 8. We were just down 5. We could take the lead right here. I'm going with Giannis. He jumps again. And that's another easy layup. I was really just scoring like all of my points with Giannis. Now looking back at this gameplay, we're down 15 to 14. I hit Ant Green. That's my second made or third th made three pointer with Ant. We had a lot of made threes with him. And then look at he steps out of bounds right there. I jumped at him though, so it pushed him out of bounds. So I've seen that in 2K24 before. But yeah, he gets out of bounds. 17 to 14. He almost gets a steal right there. Or 17 to 15, my bad. At the top of the key with Ant. We're going with a pick and roll. I don't really play my team or play now at all. So, and look at, dude. Like, how many times am I going to go out of bounds on the baseline? I know y'all are going to see that issue in other people's River City gameplays. Because that shit was hella annoying, bro. It was happening to everybody, like I said. But look at this. This is clamped. He somehow passes out of that. I wonder what his bailout badge was at. And Kevin Durant gets this good double clutch layup. Ties it up at 17. He has the ball. Another three with Dr. J. Misses again. We throw it down to MJ. That's an easy dunk. And now we have the lead once again, 19 to 17. He has the ball. A chance to tie it up. And that's exactly what he's going to do with Dr. J. 19-19. Next point wins. You already know who I'm going to, bro. I'm going to Giannis. I've been cooking with him in both gameplays. Nobody can stop him. It's easy paint mashes, whatever he's using. He jumps at that. We get the wide open dunk, and we end up winning that game. If you guys want to see some better 2K25 gameplay once I actually learned the game and learned the drill moves a little more and learn and actually put my settings on, make sure to go watch the gameplay breakdown video. The video is on your screen right now. Go check it out. We got some more build videos coming up on the channel for 2K25 as well. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel for more early 2K25 content. It's been your boy Henry, aka Double H. Let me know if you guys are going to be playing this Rivet City game mode in the comments. And I'm out, y'all. Peace.